Tai Chi versus Qi Gong. What's the difference? When we think of Tai Chi, we normally envision the elderly, dressed in bright silk garments, moving their arms about in slow synchronization in a local park. We think of it as just something old people do to stay healthy. But few take the deep dive to find out really what Tai Chi is, what it's for and what it does. The origins of Tai Chi are shrouded in Chinese martial art legend. Some say it dates back as far as the 8th century. Today we practice various styles of Tai Chi, mainly Chen, Yang and Wu style, which are basically different expressions of the art, that all share roughly the same set of postures and movements. Depending on which style is practiced and the person you learn it from, you will find some styles that are more combative and practical, and others that are more internal and meditative. Developing internal power is fundamental in a person's progress in Tai Chi. It focuses less on muscle size and strength, but rather it teaches you to properly utilize your skeletal structure, joints and tendons to deliver highly efficient movements and connection to the ground. The common metaphor is to be like a tree, with roots sinking deeply into the earth and branches that are flexible, light, that reach to the sky. An adept Tai Chi practitioner will be able to be as immovable as a trunk of a tree, and yet be as flexible, fast and powerful as a tree branch that whips in a gust of wind. All this requires an effortless coordination of mental intention, breathing, posture, full body movements and even your state of mind. Tai Chi brings forth the concept of powerful relaxation, rooted in the foundation of traditional Chinese medicine and in Taoist philosophy. Where there is tension, there is blockage. This is as true in delivering a powerful strike, to holistic health, as much as it is true in your everyday life. Therefore, as the original Chinese words, Tai Chi, means the ultimate ultimate, and its symbol being the yin yang, the practice of Tai Chi can lead to the mastery of self, balance and understanding the nature of the universe. If you've heard of Tai Chi, then you probably would also have heard of Qi Gong. So what is the difference between the two? Proper Tai Chi utilizes Qi Gong. But Qi Gong does not require Tai Chi. It is like eating organic food. A genetically modified apple looks and feels the same on the outside as an organic apple. Eating a GMO apple will make you feel full, but the organic one has all its vital nutrients you need whereas the GMO apple doesn't. Practicing Tai Chi without Qi Gong would be like eating a GMO apple, you might get a little exercise, but you are not cultivating your inner life force. If you do so, you are better off just doing aerobics. Practicing Qi Gong does not require Tai Chi because the body movements only serve to help guide your mind. Once you know how to direct your mind, the movements are no longer necessary. So what is this esoteric, Qi? There are different levels of Qi. Four of them are. Qi in the form of electrical current or resistance, that can be measured on your acupuncture points. Qi in the form of a bioenergy field, that can be measured as electromagnetic frequencies using senses. Qi in the form of biophotons, actual light particles that can emanate from your body. Qi in the form of subtle energy that can travel thousands of miles instantly. Yes, we all have Qi, some people just have more than others, and some can just direct it better than others. It's one of those things that takes minutes to learn and years to master. There have been hundreds of scientific studies done in China, Russia and USA proving the use and effects of Qi energy over the last few decades. For example, several of them demonstrate the ability of remote energy healing, showing how Qi Gong masters can slow cancer cell growth in mice, even thousands of miles away from them with no loss of effectiveness, versus healing them on location. The research on this is vast, and I'm getting ahead of myself, so I will expand on science of Qi at another time. Okay, so you may not be interested in superhuman powers, but you want to remove stress and anxiety, sleep better, relax more and be in a better mood. All this can be achieved with Qi Gong and Tai Chi practice. All it takes is as little as 10 minutes a day. Once you learn the practices, you can incorporate it into everything you do. It becomes a lifestyle, like how you can practice Qi Gong breathing while waiting in line. Or like if you wash your car, you can use the wax on, wax off motion from Karate Kid. 
If you are thinking about starting to learn Tai Chi and Qi Gong, the good news is that it is quite easy to learn. Most people can feel Qi energy immediately in their hands after practicing my Qi energy ball exercise video. David Wong, founder of Qi Life, learned Tai Chi from his uncle in Jung San, China, who learned it from his mother who was a disciple of Taoist monks. Today, he develops wellness technologies that generate Qi energy, like the Qi coil. Take the 30-day Qi Gong Challenge. Join now for free. Visit LearnSuperhuman.com